Don't sleep more than is necessary. Now, I want you to understand something, brothers and sisters. There are many traditions. There are many Sufi traditions, for example. Traditions that identify themselves as spiritual pathways that teach its adherence that to purify the soul, you have to completely deny the body. You have to fast every day, don't approach your spouse, go live in a cave, be like a monk. Deprive yourself, deprive yourself. Ahlul Bayt say no. Ahlul Bayt teach us, you don't need to damage the body to nourish the soul. You have to strike a balance. How many hours of sleep you need? do you need? Six, seven, eight hours? Don't sleep more than that. Give your body just enough and don't give it more. Because if you give more, the soul will begin to weaken. There has to be a balance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, in Surah al dhariyat Surah 51, verses 15 to 18. Allah speaks about the muttaqeen. You know, faith is of levels. You have Muslim, you have Mu'min, you have Muhsin, you, know, you have Muttaqeen. Different levels. Allah in this verse is talking to us about Muttaqeen. If you want to know the description of Muttaqeen, read the khutbah of Amir al mumin because he's Imam al muttaqin What does the ayah say? إِنَّ الْمُتَّقِينَ فِي جَنَّاتٍ وَعْيُونَ the people of taqwa are in the gardens, the highest gardens. They take what has been given to them by God. Their rewards are not given to them by creatures. It's given to them by Allah. And then Allah describes them. The reason why Allah says, the reason why I'm rewarding them is because in dunya they were muhsineen. They were doers of good. Then the first thing that Allah mentions as an example of ihsan is what? Kanu min ma yahja'oon. The first description of muttaqeen in this ayah is what? They used to sleep very little. And then Allah says what? وَبِالْأَسْحَارِهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ You know, the time of Sahar, it's the last part of the night before Fajr. Allah in the Qur'an, He tells us if you want to be among the muttaqeen, you shouldn't only pray Fajr, you should be awake before Fajr doing istighfar. Right now, you know, because you know, we hear lecture after lecture after lecture and we don't change. Does everyone have a phone? Take out your phone right now. Everyone, take it out. It's not a trick. I'm not going to post this on Twitter. Don't worry. Take out your phone. Take out your phone. Go to your alarm and set your alarm for 5.30 a.m. Do it. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Habibi, you pull it out during my lecture. Now that I ask you, you're not pulling it out. Just put it in your phone. 5.30 a.m., 20 minutes before Fajr. I'm not saying you need to do salat too late. Just be awake. Do istighfar. Do a two rak'ah prayer. Be awake. Start adopting the habits of awliyaullah. And make sure it's 5.30 a.m., not 5.30 p.m. You'll miss Fajr, Dhuhr, and Asr. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. When Alam al tabai arrived in the holy city of Najaf, he tells the story. He says, I arrived there and I didn't know what my future was. My classes weren't organized and I didn't have my teachers, but I was interested in scholarship. I was interested in tazkiyah to nafs. And I asked Amirul Mu'mineen, to give me the tawfiq. 
It's very powerful, brothers and sisters. Wallah, anything that I have achieved in my life is through the barakah of Ali ibn Abi Talib, salawatullahi. Alama Tawatawai says, as I was addressing Amir al Mu'mineen, asking him to ask his Lord to give me tawfiq, Sayyid Ali al Qadi put his hand on my shoulder and he said to me, Sayyid Hussein, which is his name, if you want dunya, pray Salatul Layl, and if you want akhirah, Pray Salatul Layl. Al Mal wal Banoon Zinatul Hayat al Dunya. Wealth and children, they're the beautification of this life. But Salatul Layl is the beautification of the Akhirah. The most beautiful people on the Day of Judgment are those who sacrifice their sleep to speak to Allah Azza wa Jal. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give us the tawfiq to be of those who wake up during the time of sahar.